Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like it's been a hot minute since I did anything new, um, but I have a fun video today. We are going to look at two design team projects that I have because I am a little bit behind, um, but that's okay because I pretty much know what I'm going to do. And I also have a little book to show you. <sighs> so, anyway, let me get started. This is the first one we're going to be working with. And it is called Summer Market from Cartabella. And it is so pretty. And I'm going to show you this first. Uh, this is the uh, coordinating cardstock kit. And it is the lights. And you can see how pretty that is. It's going to go great. And here are the papers. Isn't that cute little lemonade or iced tea? These are the cut aparts. Isn't that pretty? I just love this with all the berries and the fruits and the mixer and very kitcheny. Love it. And we have the stripe flowers. I love this large scale floral. Isn't that pretty? And the yellow gingham. The strawberries. I tried growing strawberries this year. It did not go well. That's pretty. Fruits and the stripe. Cardabella uses this stripe a lot and it's really effective. It's nice. And the lemons and a green dot. This flower card, I don't know if you can see, it's pink, pale pink. And then this stripe that Cardabella also uses a lot. This one is adorable. Look at these little retro campers. Aren't they cute? And then the stripe. And then we have the bicycles with the little flower baskets. This looks quite a bit like the um, Country Craft Creations uh, logo. I don't think I mentioned. I said design team project, but I didn't say it's Country Craft Creations that I am on the design team for, and that's what, where all of these products come from. And we'll be uh, making projects with them. That's pretty. I don't know if you could see there's a little swirl pattern on it. And... And we have a smaller version of that all over floral. And then there's also a little um, little triple leaf pattern. And then we're back to that. So there is that. And I actually got this a while ago, but I was still working on Safari. And I thought, well, you know, I'll, I'll get to that. And I kind of had in my mind a project. And I liked it, but I just, I wasn't madly in love with it. And I, so I dithered and I never really quite got started with it. And I'm so glad because just today, um, I came up with another idea that I like so much better. And that's what we're going to be doing. So you'll be seeing this project next. And um, I didn't even mention, but I have the enamel dots. I have the puffy stickers. And I have these adorable seam binding and ribbon. All from Country Craft Creations, of course. So let me set this one aside and show you what we'll be doing. I don't know how many projects we'll do out of that. One or two, maybe three. Um, so then after that, we have this amazing collection from Authentique. And, sorry, I'm going to be making a lot of noise. Here's the seam bindings that we have. It's a gray, a blue, and um, I don't know, like a, I don't know, I don't know how to describe that color. What is that color? Mm, not, not quite tan, like a grayish tan, grayish, I guess. And so we have the six by six, and I'm not going to show you too much because the papers will be similar in the 12 by 12, but I love having a six by six. We may do some little project with that. And then we have the three by four pocket crafting cards. And aren't these great? So we'll do something awesome with those. 
and let's look at this. Okay, so this is the, the um, is it stickers? No, no it's not, st is it stickers? Sometimes I can't tell if it's stickers or if it's, yeah, it is stickers, uh, or if it's cut, um, die cuts, but this is stickers. Don't you just love this retro design with these children? So cute. Oh, and I didn't tell you, it's called Voyage. Um, and again, it's uh, authentic. So let me set that aside. All right, so here's the cut of parts. If you've got a boat, this is the collection for you, but it's not just the boat. I mean, it's ocean, travel, uh, or just, I don't know, just because it's just so cute. And it's beautiful too. It's not just cute, it's beautiful. I mean, look at this. The artwork is just so, so pretty. Look at this cruise ship. And I know given the way things have been, we haven't traveled uh, or cruised, but soon. Or you may have traveled last year and have pictures to do something with. This would be great for beach too, or even just summer fun. This is cute. These are little, um, like those dimensional stars that you see sometimes on people's houses or barns. Oh, and here it is in the blue. So same print on both sides. Love these little ships and sailboats. We have waves. This is coral, designs of coral. The colors in this collection are so, so pretty. Um, this, I don't know if you can see, is ropes. Um, so that's pretty. And here we have uh, crabs and shells and just uh, a sea life kind of design. Well, that's pretty, like wood. I love this one. This is uh, all different oars. And a stripe. And then we have anchors. More anchors. Oh, this is cute. So we have boats and little islands and lighthouses. Little houses, super cute. Oh, another wood design. We're going to have fun with this. Oh, here's another one. Here we have birds. It looks like shorebirds. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be, but they're cute. Um, and this is cute. Little hexagons with a lot of the uh, themes from the other papers. Oh, that's cute. These are little tiny crabs. I don't know if you can see that. So cute. All right. We have lighthouses. and stripes and then I believe we start over so yeah these are all the same so we have two of each sheet to work with so if you are purchasing to work along with me I have two of each sheet plus the sticker sheet we may use some of the six by six or we may save this for another project uh, and we have the life cards which are great and we have the um, seam bindings and I haven't made up my mind yet what I'm going to use for cardstock with this one I'm leaning towards navy but I'm not sure yet I will post uh, if you're not already part of the Country Craft Creations Facebook group I strongly encourage you go over there and join uh, when I do know what I'm doing I'll either post it here in my um, uh, stories or um, over there or both to let you know so you know what to get what color often uh, artisan cardstock I'll be using I guess I'm leaning towards the navy let me grab a sheet and this burgundy might go to I use both and there's white also maybe I don't know about the white because I don't think this is a true white it's more of an off-white and I do have some but um, I'm leaning towards one of these. That looks beautiful. All right, so I'll probably use a combination of the navy and the burgundy with this. That's really pretty. All right, so that will be coming up after we do the Cartabella. And I'm not telling you about the cardstock for the Cartabella yet because I have something I have to, to do first. To narrow it down, but I think it's going to be white. 
And then I wanted to show you this. Um, I did make a third project with Safari. Um, I love making these because I can work on them sort of away from my craft room. Um, and that's what I did with this, so I, there's no tutorial for it, but it is the same as all the other ones I've made, and there is a tutorial for it. It's the uh, one I did for the um, National Scrapbooking Day. Um, I believe I made a smaller version uh, for that, but I've got several flip-throughs of these, but I just thought you might like to see it. Um, I just couldn't bear to not use the last of my Safari, and I mixed it up with a collection. Um, this is it, and I'm not going to give you details on it because I got it at a big box store and the quality is iffy at best. Um, just you can find something if you need it to stretch your safari. You could even use solid. Oops, hey Jolly. But I'll just give you a quick th flip through. And I already kicked her out once so she's, yeah, I know. Something to play with. Sorry. Okay, sorry. Um, so you can see it's nothing nothing fancy, but I really like it. These are just so fun to make. And like I said, I like making them because I can um, I can do them when I'm away from my desk. Ooh, thunder. We're getting a storm. Summer in Florida. So, here we go. Um, so there's that. And then, I just wanted to give you a a little quick uh, life update just to sort of explain where things are going to be in the next couple of months. I'm going to do my best to keep up um, as you probably, what am I doing? Uh, as you probably noticed, I haven't posted quite as much lately, mostly because my house was on the market and it was very hard to record. And I'm saying was, keep your fingers crossed, I have accepted an offer on my house. Yay! Uh, so now I need to find one to buy and get moved so hopefully that will all be done by the end of august and but in the meantime i'm going to leave my craft room to be like the last thing to be packed up pretty much so hopefully i'll be able to get uh, everything done and, and move smoothly without too much interruption um, and then on top of that i believe i mentioned in a video that i had interviewed for a new position at my work and that went well and i was offered the position so I'm now training uh, for that. So busy times, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that because it may be related to my next project uh, in the next one. But anyway, so there we go. We have a cat. And we have oh, let me bring it over. Uh, Authentic Voyage. Move your tail, baby. Uh, Authentic Voyage, and then probably going to be using navy and burgundy cardstock with it. And we have. Cartabella. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, she just jumped off. Uh, Cartabella Summer Market. <clears throat> and I, I'm not sure yet, so don't buy cardstock until you see the introduction. Uh, but I'm leaning towards white with that. So that is that. I will see you very soon, and we will get started with the Cartabella. Or so let me put that one on the top. So we're going to get started with the Cartabella. We have two of each sheet. And we have the uh, matching cardstocks from uh, the Simple Stories Color Vibe Textured Cardstock Kit Lights. And I don't see any other name on it, so I guess that's what it's called Color Vibe Textured Cardstock Kit Lights. Okay, so that's what we're going to have to work with next. And I will see you then, and we will get started with what I hope is going to be a fun project. You'll have seen the uh, introduction so you'll know what to expect. And again, uh, everything is available at Country Craft Creations, including the Safari, I believe is still in stock. Um, I used green, craft, black, and burgundy cardstock on that. Um, I guess that is it. And don't forget to join the Facebook group if you haven't already. And I will see you very, very soon. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. It all really helps the channel, and I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.